Today we're going over how to isolate keywords inside of a bulk file and where to make those bid adjustments. Alrighty, today I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to isolate your keywords quickly and what columns you need to make bid adjustments inside of a bulk file. This is going to be a really quick and dirty video. I'm not going to walk through all the columns inside of a bulk file. Um, that would be a much longer video. But if you have ever wondered uh, how to use bulk files, um, people talk about them all the time. One of the easiest things to do in them is to make quick bid adjustments. Um, this is definitely the video for you. So what you're going to do first and foremost is create the bulk file and what you're going to need to go to to do that. That was a long sentence um is if you open up campaign manager you will see by default as that's this tab campaigns you're going to see your list of your campaigns if you go to this tab right here that says bulk operations you will see this page and what you want to do first create and download custom spreadsheet what you're telling amazon you're going to specify what date range you want to select now this is going to be the date ranges that amazon's going to pull all the data um, and you're going to use that you're going to be analyzing that to create whatever bid changes you want I'm not going to go through bid optimization in this video. That's a whole nother thing um, but so um, I'm want but I want a good amount of data here I would recommend going definitely going past seven days um, maybe 14 days or 30 days pulling your bulk file the other thing you want to do is you want to uncheck this to, um, little box here that says campaign items with zero impressions if this box is checked Amazon will not show you any of the keywords it will not pull the data for the keywords that have received zero impressions within whatever date ranges you specified if you have keywords Keywords that are not getting um, impressions in a certain amount of especially if you have a longer date range like this you might want to consider um, bumping up those bits so you want to be able to see that information inside of a bulk file unchecking this that's what it'll do um, next you do create spreadsheet for download when you have whatever thing you want here it's going to be pulling this data creating your custom spreadsheet um, when it is done, you can click this little button here, download. Um, sometimes this takes a little while depending on how much data Amazon has to pull. And oftentimes if it's taking forever, one thing you can do is refresh the page. Oftentimes then you'll immediately see it available for download. Once you are done with that, you will open up your spreadsheet in whatever software you want to use. Um, Excel is a popular one. I'm using Google Sheets. Um, first tab you will see so this is a list of all your portfolios some of these things have been changed for client confidentiality the other thing is if you have any sponsored brands running this is where you'll see those we're going over sponsored products um, when you open up sponsored products you will see all of this data and if this is your first time seeing a bulk sheet you might say what the heck but we're gonna walk through it um, after this you will know how to quickly pull a bulk file and make bit changes um, so what you want to do, the easiest thing to do is freeze the top row, that way when you scroll, a lot like opening a search term report. Then the other thing to do is apply, um, so you can filter these columns. Um, what you want to do to isolate the keywords, really quickly go over here to this column that says record type. If you only select, so I'm going to clear, and then I'm only going to select keywords and product targeting when I do this now I have isolated all my keywords because inside of a bulk sheet you will see um, other data at the campaign level and the ad group level this will bring everything down to the keyword level and you will be able to see the metrics to get impressions clicks spend orders total units um, see like this one I had one order there was total units ordered so somebody bought two um, you have sales and you have your a costs uh, a lot like campaign manager but this is all nice and condensed in a spreadsheet and the benefit of this is I do not have to click into every single ad group um, I can see it all together which is awesome um, so we are going to go over a couple quick um, tips and tricks and some filters you might want to use to bring to the top keywords that you might want to consider making bid adjustments on um, 
Thing to note, so right here under campaign, this will be the campaign name that you have the keyword under. Under ad group, you will see the ad group name. Um, under this keyword or product targeting, you will see the keywords or the ASIN. If you are doing an ASIN targeting campaign, you will also see the um, targeting type if it is an auto campaign. Then you will also see the match type here. Um, broad exact, now you also, um, targeting expressions are predefined, those are ASINs, and your auto-targeting types. Um, right here you will also see, you if you're pulling the keywords, you also see the um, negative keywords. You can deselect those if you would like, um, just to get rid of that. If, um, yeah, because that can mess it up. Also, under here, another couple columns you would like to know, um, campaign status, and when you see enabled, that means these campaigns are running. Um, if you look at this, you might have paused campaigns. You can uncheck this. That means um, you are only isolating the campaigns that are currently running and you're not looking at any paused data. Um, now under here, ad group status. Maybe you have ad groups that you've paused. Um, you can also uncheck all the um, paused ad groups. Um, under here, status, this is the keyword status. So all of these keywords are enabled. I might have a couple keywords that I have paused that I that are not in pause campaigns, they're not in pause ad groups, but maybe they're paused at the keyword level. If I uncheck this, then I am only looking at everything that is currently running inside my campaigns. Um, so I told you I would show you a couple quick filters. Right here, this is the data I'm gonna be looking at when I'm making these bid changes. Under here in the max bid column, this is where my bid is. Um, if I make a change to this column in the max bid column, um, say, no, I don't want that because it messed me up. Okay, so if I say I want to do $2 on here, if I make this change, then when I go over here and I re-upload my um, spreadsheet, I will, these changes will be made within this um, campaign and at this keyword level. So that's what makes bulk files so amazing because you can make a lot of bid changes very quickly. And so we are going over here to the ACOS column because a quick thing to do oftentimes is to sort ACOS highest to lowest. You'll bring to the top all of your high ACOS terms and you can decide if there are bid adjustments that need to be made to those specific keywords. Um, here we're going to get into a little tip. Um, right now, if I sort this column A cost highest to lowest, notice these are not actually in descending order. The reason for this is, for whatever reason, although these columns right here are um, displayed as numbers, these are actually recorded as a text value. They're not actually recorded as a numeric value. And that brings up issues when I go to sort my columns. What I can do is I can highlight this ACOS column here. And if I go to this little button that says format as a percent, it will format it. Um, now notice these are now aligned to the right. Um, these columns are aligned to the left. If a column is aligned to the left over here, like with these text columns, that tells you that it is a text value. If the column is aligned to the right, you know that it is a numeric value. Um, now when I sort highest to lowest, I have at the top my highest ACOS terms. And then if I care to make bid adjustments to these keywords, uh, perhaps I would like to bring down this ACOS. Again, you want to um, note what the keyword is, what the ad group name is, uh, perhaps what the campaign is. You'll be able to identify, okay, are these keywords that I've just launched? Um, are these keywords that are protected that I'm perhaps being a little bit more aggressive on? So you wanna just analyze everything, but this will bring to the top all of your high ACOS terms. Say you have a lot of keywords that are creating sales um, and you would like to sort, you can also sort lowest to highest, although this will bring to the top all of your zero ACOS sales. Um, what you can then do is uncheck this little thing, 0% um, ACOS, and then this will isolate. Also, if you are unchecking 0% ACOS, this isolates all of your keywords that created, uh, generated a sale within whatever date ranges it is that you have specified. Um, let me go over here and select all of these. Another good thing to note is if I go over here, um, clicks, this is another good 
um, filter to use when you're trying to isolate um, keywords to make bid adjustments on. If I go now, notice this is a text value. I still have the same issue. It's not in descending order. Um, what I can do is I can highlight this column, go over here to this um, formats. I can format it as a number. That will make it have a little decimal place. It gets a little, I don't know, wonky to read for me personally. I like to click this button right here, decrease decimal places. And then if I sort my clicks highest to lowest, I have it in descending order. Then I can go over here to my sales column. I can clear this and only check zero. And what this will do, it will bring to the top all of my keywords that have the most clicks with absolutely no sales within whatever date ranges I have specified. And then I may want to decrease these bids, make whatever bid adjustments um, I would like another thing to do. Let me see if it's like this. You can also go over here to impressions and I can select only the keywords that received um, no impressions within. Again, this is all going to be within whatever date ranges it is that you have specified when you created your bulk sheet. So you do need to keep that in mind. If it's a short window of time or if it's a longer window of time, that um, may change how you analyze this data. Um, the other tip I'm going to share with you um, before we go, one last thing is you will notice that some of these um, values in the max bid column are blank. The reason for this is that um, these bids were set at the ad group default level. Um, so I don't actually, so if I say I wanted to bump up this bid, I don't know what my starting bid is. So I don't know what I would need to increase or decrease this bid to. Um, there is a way to calculate a um, cost per click. In this case, I don't have a cost per click. Um, so two ways you can find out this information. The one way um, would be to go back over here, go to campaigns because I would be able to see, okay, I don't want to do that. Um, I would be able to see what my campaign name is and what my ad group name is. So I could go back to my campaigns. I could click here and I can click into the campaign and I can click into the specific ad group and I can look at my ad group level and see what my default bid is and that would be the value that um, should be here. Um, that can take a little while, especially if you have a lot of different ad groups. Um, with bids, the other thing you can do, and I'm gonna have to go over here and clear all of these. Um, what I can do, actually, let me just do this, clear filter. Um, if I take this, and the easiest way probably is just to copy this spreadsheet over, um, you will, if you do do this, you want to make sure that you are deleting the spreadsheet uh, before you re-upload this file. But what I can do is I can create, um, a, basically copy of the spreadsheet, and then if I go over here to record type, if I clear all these and only select add group, um, what this will do is it will bring to the top all of my ad groups and under this max bid column now at the ad group, um, this is my default. So if I hadn't have changed these, um, I would be able to see all my ad group default bids and then I can again go over here, um, wherever I had it, um, and I would be able to see relatively quickly um, what my what the default bid was set at. So then I can go back over here and realize again, um, if you are doing this, you want to make sure you delete this spreadsheet before you re-upload the it into um, campaign manager. So the very last thing I'm gonna show you is how to re-upload this file once you are done making whatever changes. Um, this was, I just went to file, um, download, download a spreadsheet. I'm gonna go over here. Um, I guess I already have one here. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this little button. You'll see it says choose file. A good thing to do is perhaps to rename um, whatever file it is. So, you, you know, these by default have very funky names. Um, then you can be sure that you're selecting the correct spreadsheet. Um, what I would do is I would select whatever spreadsheet I would like, open it up. 
Um, then I would click this little button, upload to process changes. I'm not going to do that because I made, I think I made a couple random changes. Um, but I could then see it here. It would say um, downloading or uploading spreadsheet, processing changes, something like that. I can't really remember actually. Um, but once it is done, you will see something like this it'll either say finished with errors oftentimes if you're downloading a full bulk file you may have one or two errors it should go through not a problem if you're only making changes to the max bid column um sometimes you'll see this if all the rows have gone through successfully um successfully finished but if you are doing a full bulk file, if you have one or two errors, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, you can download this report here if you click this and then it'll tell you what uh, rows made the errors. You can go then back to your file and figure out what row it is and then maybe try and troubleshoot it. Or if you've discovered what row it is that the change is on, if it's not one that you really care about, you could just leave it. You can go check it inside of Campaign Manager just to make sure that those changes went through. That's a good idea just to go check something. So this has been a very quick video on how to make bid adjustments using a bulk file. Hopefully I was able to breeze through this pretty quickly, not too quickly. If I didn't explain something properly or you need some clarification, feel free to leave a comment. I will be answering any comments below this video and stay tuned for more videos on how to use bulk files.